Okay, some people have asked, what happens to the water catchment system if it stops raining? Are you going to run out of water? Well, first of all, this is Hawaii, and if you look at the almanac or something, you'll find this is one of the rainiest places on the whole planet. But even if it did run out of rain, and it hasn't in 10 years, the tank has never run dry. But if it did, we have this backup pipe that goes up the hill and up the hill is another even larger agricultural tank which we can use to fill this one. We'll go take a look at that next. This tank up the hill is even larger than the house tank. This one's 13,000 gallons and it has its own roof, its own rainwater collection roof and is primarily a backup in case uh, we need to irrigate which also doesn't happen because <laughs> because again because it rains so much but if these tanks were to overflow which is actually a very real possibility you can see they've also got siphons both tanks do they have siphons on the side here so the water will never go over the edge of the tank it'll just run down through the siphon and drain into the soil Where does the wastewater go, seeing as there's no sewer hookup here? Also, because this is the side of a volcano, you cannot put in a septic system. What you see down here is about six inches of soil, and underneath that is solid basalt lava rock. The only thing you can do is what all the locals do. They, they dig a, a cistern, basically a permanently capped big hole in the ground. We look over here, we can see a vent. So the wastewater comes out of the wall, sewer pipe. And then you can see vents and it heads over in this direction. Here you see another vent pipe and right over in here is a cistern and I know there's no way you can see it because it's buried under so much vegetation but down there somewhere is a big concrete cap and then a huge hole in the ground and uh, that's the uh, that's the destination for the wastewater Now, if something ever happens to the power or the plumbing, not to fear, up the hill we've got a good old-fashioned outhouse. Now, the last system I'd like to talk about is the gas system. We use propane gas, which we purchase in town and set up out here. We use that to heat the clothes dryer, to heat water, and to power the kitchen stove. So you can see valves here will take the gas into the house and from there it's dispersed to either the stove inside the kitchen or the clothes dryer or this which is our hot water heater. This is a tankless, as it says, tankless hot water heater. It, uh, the, as the water flows through there the gas will heat the water up for your for your needs whatever it is uh, uh, using in the shower or in the, in a sink and then over here you can set the temperature this is just an ordinary gas stove that's been converted to run on propane the only thing you have to watch is propane burns hotter than natural gas so you don't want to cook things as long. Also, we try not to use the oven because it does use a lot, of, a lot more gas than a burner.